How's it going everyone? JKXVX here. We're back on Foot 2005 once again with another quick car customization, car sound, comparison, upgrade, build. Xbox were very kind enough to give me the opportunity to play a limited version of Foot 2005. It was a single player version essentially, it wasn't a demo and there was no multiplayer and the car list within this version still isn't final. But nevertheless, with my time with the game, I recorded a ton of content for all of you guys, so make sure to subscribe to the channel because only over the next few weeks, there's going to be a ton of Horizon 5 videos. I've shown you all the car horns, I've done car sound comparisons, the sort of stock versus upgraded, all sorts. Make sure to have a look on the channel if that interests you. But anyway, I didn't do many builds while I had the game, I wanted to do different stuff than that. However, We've got to do the Mark IV Supra. So in today's video, we're taking a look at the wide body, massive wing, 1600 horsepower Mark IV Toyota Supra in Horizon 5. We'll have a look at how it sounds stock, how it sounds upgraded, because my God, they sound so different. It sounds like a jet, like the GTR did. And then a quick drive around, just having a look in general. So anyway, on to the upgrades and tuning. Now before we take a look at the body kit, I'm going to show you what engine swaps you can put in the Mark IV Supra. Not like anyone's going to be psychopathic enough to do that. Here's a quick sort of sound test of all of the engines. So yeah, there's a V10, there's a V8, there's a V12. The V12s sound interesting. Hopefully I've got a video having a look at the V12s because the V12s sounded horrendous in Horizon 4. But anyway, on screen right now, take a look at this KRC Japan body kit for the Mark IV Supra. Doesn't that look crazy? It's kind of Marmite, you're either going to love or hate it. I think it's ridiculous, I kind of like it. And along with that, there's some pretty cool wings, but mainly this. Look at that! Look at that wing! A couple of different bonnets, um, everything else is what you'd expect. We've obviously got all of the new tyre compounds. Um, I just went for slicks because again, this is just a high horsepower build. And then I went for the normal race transmission even though, as you know, there are now 8, 9 and 10 speed transmissions. Um, which is really cool but I just went for the race one. Everything else is sort of the same, um, just flew through it. As for the engine upgrades, I'm actually going to rev after every upgrade so you can see how dramatically the car changes per upgrade and then all of them at once at the end. It just sounds amazing. Here we go. You can see, especially with the camshaft and the exhaust changing, the red line and the tone just changes so much. Uh, I just banged a bit of uh, different rims on there. I didn't want to drive around with stock rims, as nice as they are. And then we ended up with 1,600 horsepower in this Toyota Supra. It sounds amazing. Let's have a quick drive, um, only 30 seconds, in the stock Toyota Supra so you can see what that sounds like, interior and exterior and everything like that. And then we'll jump in the high horsepower one and see how different it is. Sounds good, there's no doubt about that, but let's just jump in the 1600 horsepower one, you all want to see that.
This thing was mental to control, as you can probably remember from Horizon 4. Now the handling in Horizon 5 feels a lot more... I don't know what the word for it is, but it feels a lot more... A lot more sim-like, which isn't a bad thing. Um, it's barely noticeable, to be honest, but I noticed it. It feels better, which means some of the cars are easier, some of the cars are harder to control, but the Toyota Supra, it's controllable and it's mental. As you can see, it maxes out at about 240 miles an hour. Again, you can probably get more if you maybe stick a different transmission on it, tune it a bit better, but the generic way of upgrading a car, about 240, which you can't complain really. Now I wanted to show you the interior sound. The interior sound sounded mental. The gearbox whine and just the just the amount of sounds going on is crazy. Obviously thanks to all the upgrades we put on it. Lovely stuff, the Mark IV Supra in Horizon 5 is a great car to drive. Not only was it in Horizon 4, now it's got even more upgrades, more engine swaps, more body kits and it sounds absolutely crazy. It doesn't sound quite like a diesel anymore, which wasn't really a bad thing. But yeah guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, there's going to be plenty more Horizon 5 content from where it comes. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. I'll leave you with another 30 seconds of the Supra driving around and I'll see you all later. Thank <laughs> you.